Hey, good morning. It's five o'clock in the morning, so it's pretty early. And uh, I uh, really enjoy using this uh, horizontal milling machine. That's kind of new to me, and I like I like to use it at a, you know about any opportunity. And there's many ways to do the same thing that I'm picking around this whole uh, mill. I've got that uh, coax indicator right now, and I'm finding it really handy um, for indicating when you're using the, the horizontal spindle and have to adjust with the table and the knee. But here, I got this set up here. I'm going to use this uh, old uh, hard end shaft uh, index head. And I got a I got a piece in there that's uh, uh, just a test piece, and I'm going to uh, cut uh, just put a couple of holes in the face of this uh, nut here for span uh, pin spanner on the face. So I'll go ahead and do that, but. The, I really like this uh, unit uh, for indicating using a horizontal spindle. Okay, I'll be back with more on that. Hey, back here at the horizontal milling machine, and I'm going to drill some uh, pin spanner holes in the face of this uh, nut. It's a threaded nut. And uh, I'm going to use a 5C collet, and I've got a um, really nice uh, uh, collet stop of my own design right here. So I'm going to use that. You put that in there. Okay. You see how that is? Let me back this up just a tiny bit. Yeah, that'll that'll be fine. Then, um, oh wait a minute, I want that a little deeper. I think. Let me get that deeper. By quite a bit. There, that should be good. Right there. Okay, then uh, the nut, I'm going to drill the best side. All the sides are pretty good on it. Oh, well, I'll drill this side. Okay, got that in there. Find the little slot for the collet. This is a 5C uh, real simple index head by Hardinge. Better hang on to that, I'll lose it. Get the nut on there. Make sure that's locked. It's in it's on a good number. And that's the side. I'm going to change sides. Okay. Now, 5C collets hold things accurately as long as they're the same diameter. If it's like a smaller diameter, it would suck in a little bit. You got to keep that in mind on some things, but this is not high precision at all. And I got this centered with the coax, and then um, these are one inch diameter, so um, I moved it over uh, three eighths of an inch from center, uh, which should put the uh, pinholes in a good relation to the half inch hole in the center. <laughs> okay. And I'll put a little lube on there. I'm going to drill the holes about 125 thousandths deep, and on it is. Good 
The Y axis on this mill uh, has a nice speed. It's a hundred thousandths uh, per turn. And that's as fine as the uh, jig bore. Right about there, I'm going to set my uh, up right here. That's it for that part. Well, okay, another little job done here. I got these adjuster knobs on this uh, um, finger positioning device here. And they just, they look good. I, I use those little uh, pin spanner type nuts. I inset them into the aluminum here. And it just makes a nice looking uh, knob. <laughs> and I got one back here too. Now, what this thing does, let's see if I can get a little closer here. Is, um, now this is fixed to the, the carriage wing. And you can see, let me get that loose here. See, the table moves independently. And the work head's hooked to the table. So you can have this finger on a cutter, and it's fixed here. And as you move the table, you see the finger um, keeps the uh, edge you're grinding um, in check with the wheel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you you can uh, grind different ways. You can you can grind down on a tooth, and it's a little better to grind on the upside. So you can put the uh, finger behind the the tooth here, and uh, and and grind across the flute like that. But this uh, device here makes it a lot easier to adjust. Otherwise, um, you have to have the finger fixed to the, the head here. And if you move the head, then the finger is out of whack with the, uh, with the cutter. So this kind of keeps things in check, and it's really a nice addition that uh, that was uh, done to this grinder years and years ago. So I can, anyway, I'll, I'll be showing that, but I, I really like this knob design here with that with the nuts like that, and it just looks pretty sharp. If you want to make knobs for something, that's it's a pretty good option. Okay. Well, thanks for tuning in, and it is New Year's Day, so Happy New Year's. Okay, bye.